Hey Scott Houck here and welcome into this fun video about my dragon collection. I think that will mean something to you. I'm going to be explaining why dragons mean so much to me and how it can mean something to you as well. And I believe very strongly one of my spirit animals is a dragon, a mystical phenomenal creature with a symbol of wisdom and life and longevity and prosperity and fortune. And I want to show you some of these pieces that really mean a lot to me. And I think they'll come across to you in a very guidance oriented way. So I think you're really going to like it. So one of these first ones, one of my favorite is this glass dragon here. Very phenomenal piece. Now, all my life I've grown up in martial arts. If you didn't know, I have a martial arts background. I'm a fourth degree black belt in Ishinru Karate. And my family had run a karate school and still does pretty much my entire life. And the oriental culture has been a fascination of mine for a very long time. I think there's a lot of aspects of many different cultures that when you combine these different things of the things you like about a culture and put them inside of you and be able to almost open up a new world for yourself with different morals and different ethics, different habits, different thinking patterns, you start to become a really whole you. In fact, uh, my girlfriend and I just watched The Last Samurai the other day and a very, very phenomenal movie, right? All about really discipline, respect, mindfulness, meditation, alignment, presence, living in the now around nature and also perfection in what you do. And I really am fascinated by that side of the Asian or Oriental culture. Uh, this dragon right here, I actually got in Disney World in Epcot, one of the, in the Japanese side. And it's a very phenomenal piece, just made out of glass here. More expensive piece, but really, really enjoy that one. One of my other couple of dragons here, you can see these are very common in the Oriental culture, especially with the red piece here, okay? But essentially the masculine and the feminine, both together, very, very essential in the integration of your energies, having both masculine and feminine within you and you want them both balanced. Now we're not talking about male, female, gender, both of them within you. What we're talking about here is energies. And when you're purely masculine, you're only gonna go out there and work, work, work. You're only gonna go out there and achieve and ambitions and there's no emotion and there's no presence. Feminine energy is only about the now and the presence, right? There's not a lot of ambition. There's not a lot of those ideas, but it's just solely feeling right now in the moment. You want to integrate both of these. It's kind of like the yin yang idea. Okay. You want to integrate both of these energies within yourself so that you can also be achievement oriented, but also at the same time, very present and integrating both of those. And on my journey, I've had to really discover what these energies are and how to even integrate them. Cause nobody really teaches you how to do that stuff. Right? Another one of the dragons here. This is a dragon I got from an Oriental spiritual store here in Miami. A very amazing piece. Okay. And we call these other ones here shishi dogs. These are a part of the Japanese culture. Okay. Again, male and female aspect once again. Okay. These come in very different ideas and sometimes you see them very big in front of Oriental stores. You know, these, these figurines. Uh, one day at our next home, I'm going to have some of these outside of my driveway, 100%. Uh, but that will come when we're in a different place other than our Miami high-rise condo. Okay. Uh, but these shishi dogs really mean a lot to me. They mean all about the idea of strength of character and courage, uh, being able to face your fears, being able to go through those fears and go on the other side where the treasure you seek is, right? And a great quote by Joseph Campbell is, face the cave you fear to enter and that'll hold the treasure you seek. Okay, so it really helps to increase courage and understanding. It's another phenomenal piece here. I don't remember where I got this one. I believe it was also in Disney Epcot. Uh, I love Epcot, the different countries and different ideas around there. This is an incense holder. I like to burn a lot of incense. You can see the candles around to me. I believe very strongly in changing energy in the environment. And this right here is an excellent incense holder. I got a couple of incense holders, but one that like lays like this, I believe is the best rather than the one that goes up and down. I believe the burn is a little bit better, but a great, great piece there. And we got this other one here. I used to have one of those old fashioned pen and pencil, you know, cup holders that you get from Staples. But when I saw this, I was like, I have to get this. 
How amazing is that, right? Holds all my pencils, holds all my pens for all the work that I do, and uh, just a very, very amazing piece here. Another one here holds a crystal, and I'm going to be getting a brand new one here, okay? This is an excellent piece. This is about 30, 40 years old. This is one of the uh, collections from the Chinese culture in the 1990s, okay? Very amazing piece, and what this can do is hold a crystal ball, okay? And the crystal ball sits right in the center here. I'm gonna be getting a new one, new crystal ball to put in the center here. And you could put any of them, and if you believe in crystals, I mean, crystals have so many different meanings to them. I have some crystals behind me, but they're gonna hold different meanings based on your intention and based on what the material is as well. And we're gonna be having a new one with this one here. Here's a piece that I really like. Okay, this is one of the most expensive pieces, by the way, even though it's small. And this is actually something I bring with me when I travel. I believe very strongly to have a symbol with you when you're traveling, something for safety, protection. And I believe very strongly in this one is a protective piece. And this piece here, if it's again, it's all about your intention, all about your belief. If you don't believe in any of this, it's not gonna work for you. But if you believe in protection, and understanding that you could put this piece in your book bag or your uh, carry-on or whatever it is and this can bring with you and I actually learned that from my father he has a little piece in one of his bags all the time as well and uh, really really excellent piece here so again I mean a dragon really means so much I mean inc incredibleness high achievement and the most important is wisdom really having that wisdom to seek and understand why your world is happening the way it's happening and what to do about it. And really realizing you are one with an infinite source of supply. Okay, it's also a couple of different Buddha pieces that I have. And also a crystal ball dragon set here, which is very, very amazing. Okay, um, and this is a simple glass crystal on top here, but this, uh, this piece here really symbolizes a, almost a union with whatever the message is within the ball, like something of mystical forces coming together to unite into one energy, if you will. So very awesome piece here. Now this is not a dragon. I got a couple other dragon pieces, uh, but this is not a dragon. This is my favorite piece in my entire collection. It is what we call the emperor statue, or they call it a general statue as well in a lot of Chinese cultures. Okay, but this emperor statue is basically an entire symbol of prosperity. It's very, very heavy. So it's made of very, very good material. Uh, this actually glows in the dark. So it charges up by a little bit of sunlight as well as during the day. And actually we have it in our bedroom. And this is like a very, very dim lit light in the very corner. It's the only light source in our entire bedroom. If you know anything about sleep hacks, and I'm gonna make some videos on it, how to sleep to be a lot better in your life because it's very important that you get proper quality sleep, especially as an entrepreneur. You know, I used to be that person that tried to sleep only six hours a day and drink a pot of coffee a day and all that stuff. And I have none of that anymore, no caffeine or anything like that. And I feel more energy throughout the day from morning until night all the time. Uh, of course, there's going to be some days where you kind of feel off or something's going on in your energetics, different side of things. So you need to work on that. But the Semper statue is a symbol, again, of prosperity, is a symbol of fortune, is a symbol of strength, and very, very awesome piece here. What am I gonna do next? Oh, this one here. This is also from the 1990s. Okay, very, very awesome piece here. This is hanging on my wall. And as you can tell, it's a dragon with a little bit of fireball here, but you know, dragons are gonna mean different things in different cultures, like part of the American culture or part of different cultures around even Europe most of the times, you're gonna see dragons being something like if you ever watched The Hobbit, like a destroyer, uh, somebody who, or a creature who rather, that is always wanting more, more gold, more fortune, all that stuff, like somebody who's an aggressor. And in the Japanese and Chinese culture, it's not that way. Uh, a lot of the other cultures in the other types of the world, again, in more English side of things, that's kind of how it's face a fire breathing dragon that seeks to destroy or seeks for more than it needs. And that's certainly not what these pieces are about, but a lot of different cultures will symbolize that. 
Also in South America, there's a symbol of four dragon, but it's a, even very different than the Oriental culture. So it's really what you symbolize and what they mean to you is very, very important. And being able to feel into those symbols is a really, really excellent thing. Uh, there was one more piece of, that I was thinking about here. And also the Egyptian culture. Okay, the Egyptian culture is an amazing side of things as well. It shows so many of these inspirational messages. So these kinds of things all integrate together. And we want to remember the very fundamental core of all these cultures, the natives of every single culture, is they believed in a higher substance. They believed in a different reality than just this physical one you see around us. Very, very important that we see that we are much bigger than just the physical reality here. And all these different things help me remember that I'm much bigger than this physical body, that there's something much broader going on here than what you see just in front of you, right? It's very, very important, okay? So we got a couple other pieces. I'm gonna make another video if you enjoy this kind of stuff, share more of my personal insights, more about my personal life and how I run my personal life and how each area of life I'm looking to grow on and what I do to grow on those areas. So let me know in the comment section if this is helpful to you, just showing some more personal side of things because you know I think again, it's very important to not just always talk about how to and teaching and everything else, but involving yourself with your personal life and what you could be doing you know, to increase who you are. You know, What's your spirit animal? Do you believe it's a tiger, a lion, a fox, a butterfly? What does it mean to you, a seal, something in the sea? a shark, a turtle, right? What is it for you? And there's many different ones. There's no right or wrong. And you can get help with this from a shaman, from an energetic individual who can really help you discover that spirit animal. And sometimes you just go with your intuition. You just know, you know, you feel always drawn to something. I've always felt drawn to dragons all the time. You know, and that was a really intuitive sign for me. So take a look within yourself. What do you feel drawn to? What kind of animal? And that animal is just fine for you. Okay. And start making your own little collection here and there. You don't need to buy a lot of stuff. I don't have that many pieces, but again, they're symbols for you to remember, to remember who you are, to remember the symbols of who you want to become, what morals, ethics, qualities, qu characteristics you want to embrace more. And this really helps quite a bit. And then you can always keep one of these pieces in front of you, you know, when you're doing your work day, whether your job, whether at business hours, whatever it is. All right. Skyhawk signing off here. And again, make sure if you haven't already, throw a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and in the comment section below, if you find videos like this helpful, sharing more of my personal experience, I am definitely into and open to sharing more of these videos that allow you to expand, not just in the side of business and money and uh, manifesting, but also on the energy side of things. How do you run a well-balanced, in-harmony life? Skyhawk signing off here. And again, throw a like on the video and subscribe, and we'll see you over in the next video.